Hello. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about the regioselectivity of hydration reactions of alkynes. So in the last couple of videos, I've shared with you uh, that alkynes can undergo hydration reactions under varying conditions uh, to give carbonyl compounds. And I have used uh, a symmetric internal alkyne as my example on purpose. Uh, because once you remove the, the symmetry of the alkyne, you can get more than one different product, much the same case in uh, alkynes, or much the same cases in alkenes. And so I'm going to then go ahead here and change one side of my alkyne to a hydrogen. So now I have a terminal alkyne. And in this case, we can get... Now, hydration at one position will give us a ketone. Hydration at the other position gives us the aldehyde. Uh, and much like the hydration reactions of, of alkenes, we can use the same sort of regio uh, selectivity labels that we did back when we talked, that you do with the reactions of alkenes. So we can call this the so-called Markovnikov product, the, the ketone where the, the nucleophile ends up in the more substituted position. And we can call the uh, other uh, product, the so-called anti-Markovnikov product where the functional group ends up in the less substituted position. Um, I actually don't like the phrase anti-Markovnikov um, because it suggests, you know, that whatever's going on in the Markovnikov version is happening, but at the other spot, uh, as you know from studying alkenes, that whenever the anti-Markovnikov product, you know, comes about, it's because it's a completely different mechanism. Uh, So, so again, to compare with alkenes, we have Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov addition of water uh, through various reagents to, to the alkene uh, to give secondary or to give substituted and less substituted alcohol halls based on the uh, based on the reagents that we're using, uh, and of course the Markovnikov uses oxymercuriation, and the the regiochemistry comes from the nucleophilic attack step and uh, being in some buildup of positive charge. Uh, and the anti-Markovnikov comes from the hydroboration, and the regioselectivity here comes from the fact that actually the boron is the electrophile and the hydrogen is the nucleophile, so the mechanism is, is different. In the alkyne world, it turns out that the same types of reactions generate the same regioselectivity that you would get from the alkene uh, case. So in fact, uh, we get Markovnikov regioselectivity from oxymercuriation, and we get uh, anti-Markovnikov regioselectivity from the hydroboration oxidation reactions. So here I am putting in our oxymercuriation reagents, oxymercuriation. a heading here for our hydroboration oxidation. Uh, our oxymercuriation reagents primarily give the ketone or the Markovnikov product. The hydroboration oxidation reagents copy my aldehyde. Draw a new arrow. Uh, 
in my putting my uh, sterically hindered bulky pouring. Again, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether I use nine BBN or disamyl boring, some sort of bulky boring. Uh, the bonus of the bulky boring again is that uh, it prevents extra addition reactions, but also the sterically hindered bulky groups here further promote regioselectivity, so the boron ends up at the less substituted position. If you remember, part of the reason for alkene hydration reaction, uh, alkene hydroboration, that the boron ends up on the less substituted position is sterics. The, the boron ends up on the less, this less sterically hindered position. And this reaction uh, produces the aldehyde. Uh, before I wrap up this video, and then we go to the last video on uh, ketoenol tautomerization, I just want to talk about one uh, type of limitation in predicting the, the regiochemical outcome, and that is when you have an alkyne, I'm going to use a specific alkyne, uh, that's internal but not symmetric. You know, and, and in, in this case, let's see, actually, I want instead of a ethyl, make ethyl propyl. There's an ethyl group and a propyl group. There's not a large difference in, in, in sterics here. Uh, and it's sterics partially that controls the, the outcome. If we were to, to hydro, if we were to react this alkyne with a boring followed by oxidation, we would not get a regioselective outcome. Two, three, four. We would get both possible alkyne products, which would probably be you know, probably not what we want. most important conclusion here is that the addition reactions of internal alkynes are not regioselective, are not regioselective. Uh, this is going to be true of other addition reactions that alkynes undergo, uh, but you get both possible isomers here. And if we had done hydro or if we done oxymere carriation, uh, we'd have gotten the same outcome. Right. In the final video in this series on alkyne hydration, we're going to talk a little bit more about ketoenol tautomerization. Thank you for watching.